Hey, what's going on guys? Like Butter here and welcome to another Last Man Standing video. Last Man Standing is a free-to-play battle royale game that kind of was created off of the game called Shattered Skies. Now, I want to make this video today because I want to show you something that I think is incredible that kind of blew me away when I read this. So, um, I actually had no idea that this leaderboard here even existed, but I want to show you something that this company is doing that I've never seen in a video game before maybe you have if you've seen this in any other video game please let me know in the comment section below but not only leaderboards I know most games have leaderboards but if you go to the leaderboards it will actually show you uh, a breakdown of your top 10 like in h1z1 it will show you your rank and it'll show you that these leaderboards last for a certain amount of days so this ends in six days but but what I wanted to show you here is that there are um, there's a prize pool for the amount of, of things that happen during this prize pool and, and how many games that have to be played and then it will unlock this amount of money that these players can win. I think that this is absolutely fantastic. I think this is super cool. Uh, it, it seems like if there's a certain amount of games played or you play a certain amount of games, um, you unlock this prize pool that people can basically just win and uh, or maybe it's as a community 45,000 games to unlock this prize pool so maybe like we're only like halfway there's only six remaining so I guess these people won't get paid out but for June they did and I think this is crazy that this amount of, of money gets paid out of the pocket of the developers I'm assuming whatever they make from uh, microtransactions and that kind of thing I think that's cool. That's super awesome. If you look, uh, this guy has 215 wins, 281 wins, 503 wins. Like, what the fuck, dude? That's insane. Uh, but I just want to show you guys this. This is super cool. Um, the fact that they're paying people for finishing a certain placing. Um, it looks like it's not going to reach there this month. But I, I just think the concept of paying players for finishing top 10 is so cool. Um, but we're going to go right in. We're going to do a live solo game today. And uh, I just want to give you guys kind of my opinions of this game. I've noticed a lot of people have been coming in and saying, uh, why do you play this over PUBG? And I think that this game has a lot more action. Um, it throws you kind of right into the game. PUBG, I love the game. Um, it does frustrate me at times. And this is a good break from that. Because in, in uh, Battlegrounds, you kind of have this a, a lot of downtime that you really don't notice. I mean, you got the pregame lobby where you know you're going to be there for a minute, minute and a half. Then you have the plane ride, and then you have to parachute in, and then you have to loot items. And it's like it's like you're never really getting thrown right into the game. And that's something that H1Z1 does really well. The matches start really quick, and you get thrown right into a match, and you parachute in, and you're fighting like six, seven, ten people. And there's a lot of action very quickly. Well... Last Man Standing is also very much like that. You get thrown into action very quick. There's no parachuting. You spawn in right next to buildings. You loot. Um, and you don't even really have to loot that much because there's just items sp like sprayed all over the map. Um, and, and I really like it. And it's very, very... Um, it, it has very clean mechanics, meaning like it's very, uh, you know, when, when you're fighting somebody... It doesn't feel clunky. It feels very uh, normal. And it looks like we, we failed to connect to that server. The game probably started the second we were connecting. Um, but it just feels very, very clean, very smooth. And when you shoot somebody, it feels very rewarding. So let's hop into another match here. And we'll see what we can get done. Um, I've been getting a lot of wins lately, but I've been in a little bit of a slump here the last couple days. So this might be a little bit of a struggle, but you never know. We might win this one. Um... I don't think we have any boosts to use, so we'll just go in boostless um, because, you know, boosts are known as the pay-to-win feature in the game, which actually don't make too big of a deal. Um, the arc shields are definitely strong, but there is a counter. All you gotta do is just chuck nades at the front of the arc shield, and the area of effect will burn right behind them, and it'll force them to push out. So technically, when you block yourself in a shield like that, it can be used against you as well, um, although in most situations, they're very, very helpful. 
They're also, uh, in some situations, you'll be going down hills, and you'll place an arc shield, and sometimes it will, like, like kind of uh, go on the terrain that you were walking on, and it will make you just stick over the top of it, which which will get you killed sometimes, so it's very important to make sure that you're not placing it on a, on a uh, downward. Um, yeah, that's exactly what happened last game. The match uh, started before I could get in. Waiting for two players to connect, and then we got, like, a two-minute break, and uh, then we'll be loading in, so I will just fade this video when the game starts and i'll see you in a minute why the fuck you lying why you always lying mm, oh my god <laughs> i unlocked the why the why you always lie and little dance here oh it's so gold there's so many cool little emotes that you can use you do the thriller dance hold on uh what is it p or no this is whip now watch me whip now watch me nay nay that's kind of old now, but it's kind of funny. And I'm dancing while we come in. All right, let's go. So if you aren't familiar with Battle Royales, um, first of all, do you live under a rock? Because Bihars are the most popular genre right now in gaming. Um, we're basically going to run in here, loot as much gear as we can. You start with nothing, and we are going to kill everyone in our way. Anyone that we come across is an enemy, and the idea is to be the last person alive. The um, the map will push people into a certain part of, uh, of the uh, map, or the gas will push you into a certain part of the map and make everyone kind of fight it out. I hear gunfire already. Just trying to see here. What we got going on before I peek out. Alright, that poor guy didn't have a single chance. He's running around without a gun. You gotta gotta get to a building as quickly as possible in this game, man, because people are coming people are coming for you, man. People are coming. Alright, let's get up on this building so we can scope it out. Um, I also want to check the map to see. Okay, so we're pretty far in, which is good, because that means that we will uh, basically not have to move as quickly, which is good. I think there's probably going to be at least two other people in this town. I mean, there th that one guy wasn't the dude shooting because he didn't have a weapon. Uh, this is east. This, that's in inwards. We might go there, but I kind of just feel like getting some good, good old PVP for you guys. So let's uh, let's actually switch these two around. We got the barrier and we have meds. Okay, so this is actually going away from the middle of the circle. But I'm gonna get in some some gunfights here. I seen him. He's dead. He's shooting at someone, though. Who is he fighting? Who are you shooting at, buddy? Let's loot his shit here. It's usually easier to go in first person. He was looking at someone. Who are you looking at, buddy? Oh, you can't talk. You're dead. Alright, let's try to jump up here. If there's anything up here. The barrier is moving. But you see how you're kind of like thrown into PvP like instantly? Like that's what I like, man. Like the looting part of every of BRs is the most boring part in my opinion. And some of the games are just like like PUBG is just completely surrounded by looting it's just it's just you loot for 30 minutes you get into a, a gunfight and then that's it you loot for 30 minutes and just rinse and repeat i like that you get to th be thrown right into the gunfights i do think that there's a guy over here or he might be down here at this point all right let's let's start heading towards this little town gonna look behind me we do have four barriers which is good so if we're getting shot at in the in the complete open we can you know 
throw a barrier down, return fire, heal up. A lot of good things about having uh, a good amount of barriers. You technically want to just grab as many barriers as you possibly can hold, which is infinite. So you just want to grab them all. So there's like no bag space. There's no backpacks or anything like that. So basically, you just can carry anything. You just pick up everything if it if it makes you uh, makes you uh, feel good. If your heart desires. So like I mean. It's nice not having to worry about your backpack space, too. So, I, I mean, this game has a lot of positives to it. And I think that um, the more people learn that, the more people will start playing. Because I think right now there's only, like, 3,000 people playing uh, at a time. Which isn't too bad. But, you know, I think it. I think this game deserves a little bit more love for a free-to-play game. I mean, you have no reason not to at least try it out to see if you like it. Grabbing. Uh, that's really loud. Is that an AK? Oof. Okay, we're gonna grab this. The AK is like my favorite weapon by far. It just it melts so f quickly and it's really steady as well. We need to try to find some attachments. Here we go. Here's a laser guard. Let's put that on that AK. Uh, holographic scope compensator. Ooh, this was the room, man. This was it. All right, so now we have a hollow sight. We have a compensator. We're like set right now. Accuracy magazine, whew, baby. All right, so we have a, a little bit less, uh, we, we have less bullets in our mag now, but we shoot it a lot, uh, a lot straighter, a lot more accurate. How this game works is it doesn't really have recoil that much. Ooh, distance grip, nice. Man, we got like a decked out gun right now. Um, it doesn't really, like, have crazy recoil on the guns. What it has is spread, which is basically the the pattern that the gun's going to shoot in. So, for example, if your gun has a lot of spread and you're spraying your weapon, you're not tap firing it, it's going to kind of go all over the place. Ooh, extended mag. Should I use the extended or the accuracy mag? Uh, let's just throw the extended on here. Alright, I did hear gunfire this way, and it's hard to tell if people have been areas because the uh, the loot actually respawns. It's not um, like in most games where the loot spawns in and then stays there. The loot actually respawns every time. It's got a respawn timer, so um, it's kind of hard to know if somebody looted something. Right, we're already heading toward the uh, towards the middle here. I really want to find an ACOG scope. The ACOG... Oof. Jesus, that's fucking scared me, man. So there's a guy there with a shotgun? That's a, oh, there he is. I'm gonna get wrecked in a second. Yeah, he's, he's dead. He's not coming back from that, man. So a little tap fire, a little tap tap. Now this guy was looking this direction. Now, I'm not sure if he was stalking me. He might have been fighting me or stalking me or something. So, I'm just going to look here just because he was looking suspiciously at this little town. But, I think it's time to go loot him. Shoot him and loot him. Let's head down here. 27 remain. Not too bad. Um, and the cool thing is that if I want to loot this guy and there's like people trying to shoot me, I can just throw down barriers and loot him pretty safely. Here he is. See if there's anyone behind me. I'm going to try not to stop moving here. Oh, this guy really didn't have much. This this was the guy who shot, though. He shot that weapon. And we do have a bison, which is, uh, I like it a lot. It's got a big, huge magazine. I think that guy might have just been really sketchy just looking at this town. Or just might have been really new to the game. I have no idea. I'm going to keep my bison out for close quarters here. So if somebody comes around the wall, we can just dump our whole mag into them. I like going through buildings in first person. It feels more uh, like more in control of your character. 
but I do want to do more of these, and I do uh, want to do more PUBG as well. I know you guys love the PUBG videos, so I'm not going to stop that. It's just, um, this is a good uh, change of pace from PUBG, you know? Oh my god! Whew! That was almost a rip. Alright, let's go back around here. So we're going to switch to our meds. Uh, I don't know what was just shaking in our house. It sounded like an earthquake. Okay, so some guy is shooting at us with a silencer. I don't know where this dude is, man. Might just back from this fight. He's definitely not missing any shots. Thinking we just sit here like this. Heal up. Alright, I'm healed. There he is. I see him. I try to lose this guy just because it's not worth it. He does have a silencer that I wouldn't mind taking though. I will say that. But I think I think it's our I think it's our time here just to kind of dip. We don't really have any meds to be fighting this dude with, or do we stay because we need the meds? Huh. I guess it can be looked at both ways. But I think what I'm gonna do here is since I just heard gunfire to my left as well, we're gonna try to get out of here. Try to lose him behind these trees. Let me get right into these buildings. Basically, uh, this guy's got my number right now. He's um, sneaking up on me and he's got a silencer. Right, there's a guy in there that's going to help me out. Do we have a silencer by any chance? Uh, I don't see anything. There's a guy right there. around here like a little bunny rabbit. I don't want that guy to fuck me up. Right, we have three military meds now though, so we should be able to fight this guy. We gotta go soon. One guy's been stalking us forever. 15 players left. Uh, 14, no. Not doing too shabby, huh? Not too shabby at all. I just wish we had an ACOG scope. Did that guy have an ACOG? He didn't. Fuck. Alright, I 
Let's throw on that C mag there so we can get the 100 bullets. All right, we're in the circle, so we're uh, we're good to go for now. But I'm basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate here, try to get up in these bushes a little bit more. Hopefully, we don't see anybody. This is this is where the the fight starts getting intense. The circle's getting tiny. Players are starting to have to converge. Some people like to play super passive and kind of wait back, so those people are gonna be forced to fight. Shit's gonna get real real soon. There's a player. Snail plays. He's just snailing on the ground, man. Okay, someone died to the gas. So we're down to 12 real quick. Down to 12 quick. But yeah, you shouldn't snail on the ground like that. It, it's... This game's very different. Dude, I just freaking destroyed that guy. Oh my god. Military meds. Take that. Take that. Take that. ACOG, yes. Alright, I'll show you why the ACOG is so beastly. Look at this thing. It's so pretty. Alright, so for this, Iron Shield. Boom, boom, boom. MS4 scope. Uh, yeah, I like that a little bit more. Alright, so let's head up towards. We're gonna go towards the circle now. And, uh, yeah. Is 10 less than 10 left, so we are doing quite well, quite well indeed. So, we do need to go a little bit, we got to go towards the buildings, which I'm not a huge fan of. There was also a guy we killed over here, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to loot his, his body. We gotta go now, but I want to stay out of these buildings if I can help it. Just making sure it's not a player up there. And we do have a lot, and I mean a lot of barriers. So, like, for example, if we want to just kind of make, like, a little, a little base here, we can. Which is another cool thing about this game that I actually really, really like. Kind of just, I mean, <clears throat> we have more than enough barriers to kind of just sit here. And now, now we're safe, you know. We have, like, we have, like, a little bit of, uh, of wiggle room here. <laughs> Switch to pain pills because I didn't want to use my meds. I don't really see anything. I think the shots are coming from that direction. Well, let's give it a whirl. Maybe it'll scare him out. No way it was that way. Right? Could have been that way. firepower from that guy we got stuck oh well we did pretty well what do we get like seventh or something like that i don't know that that sucked man if i got to those buildings yeah we came in six if i got to those buildings it would have been pretty good let's see the place uh or how many kills did we get that game we definitely had a good amount all right six kills not too bad but shit man we got to that building there 
and I think we probably could have won this, but that guy was just shooting me too much with that silencer, and I couldn't really tell where he was shooting from. Silencers in this game are amazing. If you see a rifle suppressor, you best pick that shit up. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop the video a like. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care, everybody.